Hey everyone, a common question I get is how to remove separated files. In this video, I'll be demonstrating a technique for removing a separate file that I presented to my office earlier this week. Let's get to it. In this case, we have a pre-operator graph that's demonstrating two separated files in the mid root of tooth number six. The very first step is I must be able to visualize the file. And to achieve that, I start with a modified gaze glennon and work my way to the level of the file. And this is uh, an image of what a modified Gates Glennon looks like. Basically, you flatten out the very tip of the burr so that way it's safer to cut when you're going down the canal. In this illustration now, we can see how the coronal third of the canal has been widened with the modified Gates. And what this allows is now we're able to see that file pretty clearly and also allows us to have now an access point to start introducing ultrasonic tips. With the ultrasonic tips, what I'm trying to do is start to loosen up that file a little bit. So I introduced the ultrasonic tip on the side of the separated fragment. I do not want to place it on top of the file. You're going to push it down. So I go on the side and I start going around the file, trying to remove a little bit of dentin at the same time, trying to loosen up the file a little bit. Okay, let's go back to our example of tooth number six. Now we can clearly see here the file. We're able now to introduce the ultrasonic tip and start to activate it around that separated file. Try to remove a little bit of dentin at first all the way around. Uh, you know, so I'm trying to expose the coronal third of that file. So just activate going counterclockwise uh, around. And this is an illustration of what it would look like. So you can see here so that the top, a little piece of that file is starting to get you know uh, opened up. So back to our example, I'm putting in my ultrasonic tips, taking my time, going all, uh, counterclockwise, trying to remove a little bit of dentin, and then at the same time trying to loosen up that file. One thing worth mentioning is whenever we're using the ultrasonics, we are generating a lot of heat. So you want to make sure you're you're stopping every once in a while, uh, you know, allowing that instrument and the tooth to cool down. And you want to be using a copious amounts of sodium hypochlorite, a lot of sodium hypochlorite. As you can see here, I stop, I irrigate, I use a micro suction uh, uh, to make sure I dry the canal. And then I go back with my ultrasonics. Again, I'm taking my time. I'm activating this thing at a very uh, low frequency. And I'm just going around the, uh, the file and at the same time trying to loosen it up. Uh, it takes a lot of patience when working on these. You want to make sure you're not rushing this because you can either perforate out the tooth or you can break those uh, ultrasonic tips. So just going around uh, around the file every once in, a, uh, once in a while, I stop, I look, reassess, and then go back in. There's no rush when doing something like this. So now, as you can see, I have clearly uh, you know, exposed the top portion of the file, at least one of the files, and it's starting to get now a little bit loose. And I'm taking my time just going around the file. I do not activate the ultrasonic on top of the file. You want to make sure you're going around, just trying, you know, small motion, stopping, irrigating in between. And eventually that file will give and come out. So here it is. You can see it. It flew off to the dental dam. Uh, I point to it with my mirror and I'm grabbing it right here. So that's one of the files. We got one down. So now that I got one of the files out, the other one's pretty loose in there. I do, I go to a different technique. And now I try to put a headstrom in there and try to pull that loose file out. Uh, you got to be careful. I want to make sure I'm not pushing this thing down. I'm just putting in my headstrom and, and, and trying to pull it out quickly, uh, as, as you can see here. So with the headstrom, I was able to pull this thing out. Now it's in the chamber. And I use my ultrasonics just to vibrate that last piece out. As you can see, it's out here. So I'm pulling it out with my uh, kind of forceps. And this is a radiograph demonstrating that everything has been removed. Uh, and I was, we were able to retrieve both files. And now we can go back and get our working length. So here's my 10K, make sure, making sure I'm achieving pay and C. And I'm getting all the way down. I do a lot of irrigation. Uh, you want to make sure you're doing that chemical cleaning uh, of inside the canal. Once we're done irrigating, now we can start introducing our rotary files and we can clean and shape all the way down to the end of the canal. And this is what our final product looks like. So we're able to clean and shape all the way to the apical terminus and hopefully achieve a successful result. So to wrap things up, you know, you want to make sure first you're able to clearly visualize the file before you're going after it. It's going to make life easier. You're going to prevent any harm. Uh, then you want to, you know, flare that coronal third of the canal uh, with a modified gates. And after that, you can start introducing the ultrasonics and being really patient uh, going around trying to retrieve it.